This is the food delivery for the safety meeting. Nice. Nice. Is it food? Close enough? Is it food safety? Yeah, food safety in this country. There's no such thing as food safety in America. Oh my God, El Pollo. Yeah, I better. Oh, this. Pollo Loco. I've never seen such big Pollo Loco boxes. I'll get the big one. Look at boxes. that. That's amazing. People outside of California don't know Pollo Loco. Well, in Mexico, it's called El Pollo Feliz, and, and oh, I, really? I, I stay there a lot. And I'm like, why do you call it the Happy Chicken? That chicken's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Burn the lap and then we'll probably have a good 10, 15 minute dry time in between coats and then come back. This will be a, the first coat will be a fog coat, second coat will be a medium wet, and then the third one will put it on nice and wet. All right, well, thank you, Johnny. You good luck. If anybody ever takes a shower in here, I kill them. <laughs> There's no shower. This is strictly for. That's for putting grease fires out on the stove. Uh, very nice, exactly. <laughs> That's for putting out the grease fires. Days are packed at the yard right now. Look at that, they're too deep. Can't even get a boat through there. at the yard and we're taking a look at Susanna and you know she looks great it's been taking quite a lot longer than I anticipated of course everything has but she is super smooth and looks like ready to get a glossy coat today possibly it is the day after election day I have no words about my fellow Americans. But we'll just move on to the boat. Amazingly smooth, feels like primed fiberglass. 
really beautiful. Ready to get a paint. Very harsh light, hard to really see. Still haven't put any paint on the bottom yet, but above the waterline looks really good. Maybe we'll see something today, you never know. Never know. The mast is still up here, that hasn't come down yet. That's certainly a sign. This is actually the boom. This is the boom. Well, it looks like the mizzen's over here. Yep. So they're gonna rework this little area here. And Dave's been taking a look at this. For some reason, Charles thought this was, that particularly here, was having problems. But I don't see, and David didn't see. Again, not, not a lot of uh, torque goes into this thing, no. so. I'm just looking Again, to see. I think where he thought there was a problem. He said in the crown. Right, well that would be this right, see, be right here. I don't here. see like why pop that off. Because there's a lot of Bondo in there. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> don't pop it. No, no, it needs no, to be no. redone. It needs to be fixed. No, not really. Yeah, you don't want this because you don't want water getting into the mast. Well, you can just seal that. Yep, I mean, come on, you can eat for, 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 for $5,000. <laughs> for more dollars. <laughs> Thank you, no more money. Hey, you know where to find Clint Malone? <laughs> What's up, Charlie? Hey, look at this new job. Holy shit, huh? Holy I heard about that plank that fell out. Holy fook. Holy fook. <laughs> oh my god, look at this boy, huh? Oh. What the? New fasteners, huh? You're just putting all those new fasteners in? Yep. No new you planks? Think... You're not gonna replank her? No, nope. just right there. <laughs> the one that fell out was about this big. I saw it. I saw a picture of it. Oh my God. We have a little web series going on right now that- I told them to go check it out. People are uh, loving the wooden boat restoration, so. You know we don't have much to show them in Susanna, so we're gonna show them a little bit of your boat this week on this week's episode. All right, well, we're checking out the work they're doing with manana, meaning, uh, for those of you who don't, who don't speak the Spanish language, means tomorrow. And they're in uh, dry dock for about a month, refastening. It's a beautiful old wood boat, 70 plus years old. And guess who's on the job? <laughs> Our old friend Clint, in, in some new duds. Looking frisky for fall, <laughs> my new. <laughs> oh. That's great. Well, he's keeping an eye on Susanna with one eye and working oh, yeah. on manana with the uh, with the other. All right, we're here with Clint. They're, they're making good progress. Yep, yep. Plugs, plugs and fasteners. Plugs and fasteners. And there's John, Captain John. Yes, sir. So what are the what are these little? Bolt, these are ones that are coming out or just these, going? No, out? these are all bolts. We had to bolt the longitudinals. Oh, as the, we go forward, because this was all loose. Gotcha. And the fasteners were just toast. But the planks themselves, pretty solid? Yeah, the planks are pretty good. There's no really You haven't hit, hit another bad one like the one on the other side? No, no. That one wasn't bad, except for it was it's just, small. And it was unfastened. And it didn't have fasteners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just one, one up. bad frame in here we got. And you found one? There's one bad frame, and then a couple, a couple sisters we got to do. Small sisters, but not, not as bad as it that side, that's their working side, starboard side, where they pull the net all the years. Oh, okay. So, that doesn't switch, it's always off one side? They're always on the starboard on the side. side. All right, what's the date today? November 16th, 2016. Well, like everything along with this project, I didn't think we'd still be Ah, on land, but here she is, mostly painted, 
and today we should be getting a glossy coat. So that's why we're up here. We'll go take a little closer look. All right, hard to see in here, but we'll get right up on it. All right, well, Dale told me about a big blister on the keel, so we're gonna try to figure out where that is. Doug took a look at it. They're gonna show us exactly where later. Oh, I see, look at this. Here we go. Oh, right there. Nice. What the heck is there? Lovely. <laughs> uh, what, we never noticed that before? The whole thing is bulbous. No, How big is that? That looks like that whole thing there. That whole thing, yeah. Well, what you gonna do? Let's see what Charles knows about that. Yeah. All right, so there is a big, huge piece. This looks kind of like maybe a old repair from something we hit. Uh, doesn't seem to be affecting the shape, huh, John? No, so barely, you can see it from the front if you can. Can you see it? Hard to say. Hard to see. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, and again, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to Charles a little bit about it. Yeah, he's probably out of bed now. <laughs> I left him a message. All right. Never had a red bottom before, John. No, it was always blue, right? It's always blue. Packed and ready to paint. Final stages. It's taken almost two months since we've been here. Been here almost eight weeks. Oof. Man. Just one more, one more chapter. Straight out of the boatyard. That was like the right stuff. What's your hope? What's uh, what's the goal here? A couple of coats of glossy today? Yeah, three coats of uh, all grip snow white, polyurethane. Um, yeah, three wet coats, one fog coat, one medium wet, and then one wet coat for the money shot. So, <laughs> weather, good weather for mini. Right now it's good. So Looks good. All right, yeah, we should be good to be able to get her done, so. What makes for, it's not a very hot day today. What makes for a good uh, weather day? And this is actually, probably as good as it'll get for weather depending on how much it's accelerated we didn't accelerate it too much 
probably a little less than a quarter ounce. Okay. Uh, all grip 138 accelerator for a gallon and a half mixed. So the accelerator is an, something you put in the in the paint. Yeah, it's an additive uh, okay. to uh, accelerate the dry time on okay. it. That way we can try to catch it before the dew comes in and it doesn't cause any type of blushing. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So. You expect all good things here. All good things. Yeah, redos <laughs> are uh, are not allowed here, so we're trying not to let that happen. What's not happen? Redos. Redos yeah, are redos. not allowed. No redos allowed. So <laughs> we'll be able to get her done and everything will work out, which I'm pretty sure it will. Great. So this, uh, what do you got here? This is a five gallons. That's a, that's a two gallon conventional pressure pot with the uh, with the 1.4 tip on the spray gun. So. We're all set up. Got a gallon and a half mixed of material inside the pot. Okay. Could at least get us around the vessel twice. May have to go back and mix a third time. Okay. So we'll take it, see how it goes. So a gallon and a half will get you around twice. Yeah. You're thinking. Yeah. And is that is that you just do that in one motion like you're gonna yeah, go around? I'll, just... I'll burn a lap and then we'll probably have a good 10-15 minute dry time in between coats and then come back. This will be a, the first coat will be a fog coat. Second coat will be a medium wet, and then the third one will put it on nice and wet. All right. Well, thank you, Johnny. You Good luck. No and uh, yeah, we'll we'll stay out of your way. Right on. Thank you. We have a real episode. <laughs> the people would be actually interested. Yeah. Okay, I'm joining. Oh. Oh, what? Who's this clean, handsome guy over here? Yeah, I dressed up just for I think I know your much dirtier younger brother. <laughs> <How are you? laughs> older brother. Good to see you. Excited? Yeah. Big Look, day. Looking great. Looking great. Big day. Didn't love the uh, the blister, but uh, oh, the, blister. Look, the blister looks up, looks like it's going to be okay. okay. Character, we call it. <laughs> All right. Have a good shoot, Johnny. <laughs> right. You know. It's important to spray early. And let's let the top coat dry prior to the dew coming in at night. Okay. If the dew comes in at night, it'll blush the gloss. It won't be shiny anymore. There's a fine line of how much accelerator you put in the paint to get it to dry. So it'll still be glossy. Uh, if you put too much accelerator in it, then it won't shine. Okay. If you put too little, it'll shine real nice, and the dew will get it. Okay. So, that's where Johnny's experience comes yeah, in. Yeah, he's, he's, he was talking about the, acce the accelerator. So, great, great, very exciting. Okay. All right, this is the first time around. You can start seeing the shiny coat coming in.
looks great. Thank you. Okay, this is great. Uh, so our neighbor here uh, needs to do some work on the boat, but because of the painting, he is not allowed to. So these guys are right on the job. They're going to move him to a new location. Ted, he's on there. Make sure there's Otto. Otto, the man with the electric cars. Yeah. Hey, I, you got. Uh, so this is a propane car. Uh, it's propane. <laughs> it's propane. So where are you going to take this guy? Uh, I don't know. I and that's it? Just, are you bolted on or are you just hanging on? <laughs> He's just basically just right pressure. There. Where's the ball? Right there. Oh, you are on a ball. Yeah, He's on right. a ball. Hey, you want some free sandpaper? It's good stuff. Well, just to get it off your, out, of your, you out of your way. The only thing free at the boat yard. <laughs> It's really frugal on paint, isn't it? Okay. I mean, it doesn't put a lot. Of, it just puts a nice little bit of paint down. Yeah, depending on how, depending on how you itemize your material flow. Yeah. So, and then also it's not, it's not windy out. When the wind's a factor, you gotta open up your material. You lose a lot of material when the wind. When the wind, yeah. So, so that's we're great. Pretty fortunate right now for the weather we got to do this job. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. We're going to mix up a little more and get ready for the money coat. Well, here we've got second coat. Looking great. And now Johnny's telling us one more coat, three coats of finished glossy LP. Stands for something. Can't remember exactly what. Looks like a fiberglass boat, don't it? This is the food delivery for the safety meeting. Nice. Nice. Is it food? Close enough? Is it food safety? Yeah, food safety in this country. <laughs> There's no such thing as food safety in America. Oh my god. El Pollo. Yeah, I better Oh, this. Pollo Loco. I've never seen such big Pollo Loco boxes. I'll get the big Look at one. that. That's amazing. But I gotta go, so I'll get you unloaded, okay? Now, do you want, need me to park your car back out there? No, I just leave it okay. right where it is. Are you going to be okay with this by yourself? Yeah. Because you know me, if I stay here, I'm going to eat all of it. Oh, well, we can't do that. Work right? it. That ain't fair. People from, people from, people outside of California don't know Pollo Loco. Well, in Mexico, it's called El Pollo Feliz. And, and oh, I, really? I, I stay there a lot. And I'm like, why do you call it the happy chicken? That chicken's dead. <laughs> Here, this is the third coat, the money coat, the thickest coat. He's just painting everybody's car in the parking lot. Nice. Yeah, you're far, far <laughs> no, you're far away. I'm a, and I'm a white car. Anyway.
She is. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You got it, Third coat. Money coat. Look at that shine, baby. It just looks like a piece of glass right now. Johnny has done an amazing paint job. I mean, spectacular. Thank you guys. Appreciate the good effort. That's three coats. Three coats. All right, thank you. Thank How did you see anything you didn't like up there? No. It looked all good. I saw one spot you went back and. Yeah, I went back. It's kind of hard on the on the money shot when when you're laying down the last one. You don't want to have any dry spots. And with the reflection of the sun, when you're laying it down wet, it's kind of hard to see that. So you have to kind of backtrack up your overlap. Gotcha. And that's what happened. And you know, I seen a little little dry spot, maybe about the size of the palm of my it hand. It didn't so look big. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. So now a day, day or two, day or two to dry. Yeah. Yeah. We accelerated it. So tomorrow, we plan to dry. No, it'll be good to go. We'll carry on. We'll move forward with the bottom. We've got another coat on the bottom. We've got some work to do on the left keel there. Uh, possibly some back filling with some epoxy and right. start coating it. But uh, yeah. Maybe next week we might get into the water. Soon, be splashy. All right, Johnny, thank you yeah. so much. You got it, bro. You're very welcome.